Sean Haney here with realagriculture.com. We're at FarmTech in Edmonton, Alberta, and right now I am joined in our Real Ag Lounge, our Real Ag Studio, Tom Steve. He is uh, General Manager of Alberta Wheat and Alberta Barley. Yes. How's that going? Excellent. Two organizations. Yeah, so we just uh, formally announced that today. Uh, the boards of directors of uh, the two commissions, Alberta Wheat and Alberta Barley, have approved uh, moving from a pilot project phase uh, where we've been looking at uh, the potential amalgamation of the two uh, commission management groups into one to uh, formally moving forward with a, a permanent structure. We're, we're in Canada right now, we really have a lot, there's a lot of focus on our farm organizations. We're, we're kind of, there's change afoot, right? So exactly. we've got things going on at the Canola Council, we've got the seed industry talking about seed synergy in Manitoba. Uh, everybody except for canola pretty much is looking at a full amalgamation. You're kind of in between here where you got two crops, uh, very a lot of common growers, I'm very sure. Yeah. Uh, and you're sharing resources. And we had the advantage of uh, having shared uh, resources between Alberta wheat and Alberta barley for the last four plus years. Yeah, because you shared uh, an office. Exactly, office space, administrative staff. So uh, we've had a common chief financial officer for the last four years. So our administrative functions have been combined in the past. It was the program areas that weren't uh, fully integrated. So this is kind of a next logical step so in our relationship and because we're in the same office it makes it a lot easier to do so that. you're you're living common law exactly. so is there a chance that uh, this could be a full marriage and we could have a full amalgamation between we could have Alberta cereals um, well that'll be a decision for the boards uh, in the future uh, we want to do first things first and that is uh, prove that we can operate uh, with a single management team I think um, our experience in the first four months has been very positive uh, the group has come together well and there are some uh, natural synergies. For example, right. policy uh, is across the board. It's not really commodity specific. Communications is not commodity specific. So we're able to, to gain some advantages by combining the groups. Uh, market development and research are a little bit different. Uh, there's different nuances uh, for the different crops. We're, we're looking at that. Down the road, uh, the boards certainly are thinking about the idea of a future amalgamation, but uh, no decisions have been made and it would require a regulatory change to do that. So um, that's down the road for sure. And, and that would that would allow you to basically have one checkoff because right now you still have two checkoffs, right? Yeah. Um, well, you would. I think you would still have to have a separate checkoff for barley and wheat. Okay. And uh, but you, uh, you you could have one governance structure okay. uh, potentially. So. Um, I think, and to your earlier comment, yeah, there's a lot of attention on the number of organizations in Western Canada, the value chain organizations, farm organizations, Manitoba is looking at uh, pulling all the majority of their groups together, I think with the yeah. exception of canola. So it's very topical and uh, to some extent we've, we've been doing it already on a limited basis and now we're just uh, talking about taking it to the, the final step, which is fully amalgamating our management. Groups. And some of our audience from Ontario is probably going to be like, "What are you guys waiting for?" Like, yeah. The GFO is you know was a combination of wheat, canola, or sorry, wheat, corn, and soybeans, and it's worked quite well. Yeah. Well, they've got five crops. Well, now they've they've invited yeah. others. Yeah. Them. And um, uh, had many discussions with Barry Semp, oh, good. who's actually okay. here uh, this week, and. Uh, you know, I, I think down the road, these are issues that we need to look at as an industry because there are only so many dollars to go around. There's one producer. Uh, the producers that I work for with the Alberta Wheat and Barley Commission grow all the commodities. Yeah. So there is a good argument for amalgamation, uh, but there are some existing institutions that need to be rethought to achieve that. And it's, gonna, it's not gonna happen overnight. So here's a question I get lots, okay? Uh, Manitoba is going through this evaluation. Yeah. Do, do you think we could see further discussions in Alberta uh, if this works out? Uh, it seems very highly probable it will. But do you think we could see further up working together? We have Team Alberta right now. Yeah. But do you think we could see further where maybe we sort of uh, drag in some of the other commodity groups into your uh, to your situation as well? You know, I'm I'm going to leave that up to the farmers to decide that as management groups we. You know, we carry out the instructions of our uh, 
our members and the, and the boards that govern us. But I think it's a good conversation to have, for yeah. sure. Um, but uh, that being said, there's some very well-developed models in the other commodities, the, the major commodities, Pulse and Canola, uh, with their national value chain organizations, that would really have to be reimagined. And uh, that's a big job. I don't yeah. know if we've got time, you know, or if I have time in my career. How much to do time do you have left in your career? Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because we have Cereals Canada, we have the yep. Canola Council of Canada, Pulse Canada. So it's not just a provincial discussion, it's yep. national implications as well. It so for yeah, sure good, does. good point. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay, Tom, thanks a lot for joining me here today in our Real Ag Lounge at FarmTech. Thanks for having me, Sean.